Hello and welcome to Glute and Ab Combo. So I've done previous workouts with you with um, all ab exercises and I've done one with all glutes. Now we're going to put the two together, yeah? So a nice, effective, quick workout for you to do. Targeting the core muscles, yeah? And the backside muscles, all in one session, yeah? So what will you need? Um, ideally a band or a pair of tights. These are becoming really, really popular now, these looped bands, yeah? So I've got a yellow one here, which is a fairly easy one. You often get them in a pack, yellow being easy, and then you've got a red, blue, black, etc. Um, and they're fantastic for working the glutes, yeah? But if you don't have one, don't worry. A band or a pair of tights will do. You'll notice um, I've got a chair too. So we might do, um, when we're doing the kickbacks, for example, you might want to hold on a chair. Yeah, that's all that's there for. So maybe a mat, yeah, and a loop band if you have it, and a normal band or pair of tights, yeah. So I'm moving around my mat so I can see you guys. Okay, all right, so let's start with a warm up. So just a general warm up, get the shoulders going. We need the whole body to be warmer. Yep, because we're going to engage lots of different muscle groups. So we're going to be with one arm, so we'll be using the shoulders, the legs, we're using the whole body yet to keep us in good position for some of the exercises that we're going to be doing. Arms up and down, and then we'll go across, that's it. And then forward bend, come up. And then the other side, you can look over each side, one more time each side, fantastic. Then we'll go on to hip hinge, here's your hips, we'll hinge, so arms across chest, like bend the knee, go down, as we come back up, I'm actively squeezing my backside muscles to get them activated for the work ahead, yeah, so down and up. So we don't come all the way up and back bend yet, because that only is just going to hurt your back. You come back into a neutral position, so I don't stand all the way back up and I squeeze my glute muscles. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Two more. Last time. Okay, we're going to go into squats and feet a little bit wider than you normally stand. We want you to reach down, reach feet. So we'll lengthen through the core muscles. We'll all choose the big leg muscles to get them warmer, yeah? Okay, then we're going to go left and right, go over to one side, and then we get the waist involved. So although it's just an ab and glute workout, we need the whole body to be in good alignment and good position. So that's we do a whole body warm-up. One more time each side. We'll go back to the center, down, and up. Keep that chest up, yeah? Down and up. Getting a little bit lower now, getting those inner thighs involved. Two more. And last time, we're going to go into our curtsy lunge and a slice. So there's the slice, the curtsy lunge. Take one leg back and then the other. Yep. So one comes back and then the other. Yep. That warms up the glute muscles again. Yeah, one more time each side. Excellent. A little bit of a heart raiser. Touch, reach, touch, reach. Full body moves here to get the whole body warm up. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last time, we're going to go up and over the fence, step forward, and down, yeah, get those hips opened up, sit, and again, up, round and down, up, round and down, one more time each side, and last time. So we're going to stay on one foot, soft knees, coming out to the side, out to the side, so working on our balance here, so it'll um, affect our core muscles, yeah, because they need to switch on to keep us standing still, and of course those glute muscles 
Yeah, so just warm this up. Other side, same on this side. Soft knee, slight bending knee. Out to the side, back in. Now you could keep it from the floor, or if your balance isn't great, just step it back to the floor each time. So we're just activating, I'm just warming up all these muscles for the main event. You'll get much more out of these exercises if you warm them up and get them prepared, yeah? Couple more, and last time. Okay, let's get down onto the floor, yeah? So you maybe want to have your mat ready for this one. So we're coming down onto the floor. So take yourself down. Going to do cat to camel. You're stretching out the back. Yeah, so come down and down and up. Last time, down and up. Okay, onto the toes, into down dog. Stretch out, feel the back of the leg stretch out. You're going to try and step through. Lower the elbow, reach up nice and tall. Do two on that side, and then swap over. So it comes in, elbow and raise, elbow and raise. Okay, last part, we're going to hurdler stretch or a pigeon pose. So we've got a V shape with one leg, pressing down onto it. Two of those, switch that over, same on the other side. One. Two. Excellent. So we should be a bit warmer now. You might want to grab some water. As I say, I've got a chair. I may or may not use it just to hold on for your kickbacks. So we're going to do this um, in a superset fashion. Now all that means is we have two exercises, one target in the abdominals, one target in the glutes, and we do them back to back and we interchange between working core, glutes, core and glutes. So I'm going to do um, like a QA and a about all the different terminology that we use in fitness and a lot of it sounds a lot more complicated than it really is. So when I'm speaking about supersets, I'm just speaking about going between two different exercises. So I will do a Q&A session where I answer lots of questions about terminology and fitness. Okay, so we've got the bands. Now I'm going to start with a dead bug, yeah? So that's when I push my small lower back into the floor. So let's get down on the floor into position, yeah? Just take your time. Now if I had to put my hands through there with my feet down, there's a space. I want you to tilt your pelvis towards you. Now there's no space, yeah? Legs come off, I've got my knees in line with my hips. My hands are up here, yeah? And what I'm going to do is take them out singly yeah so if you don't have a band i would recommend that one if you do have a band whether it's a loop band or the length out band with a pair of tights this is a really nice one to do so we take overhead and if you're not good with your coordination this one's probably better for you because you're taking both hands over at the same time so i'm actively pushing my back into the floor and lengthen out and then the other side. Okay, after we've finished that one, we're going to get our glute band on. Now, if you don't have one, it doesn't matter. You can still do this without the band. Or you could tie this one. The only thing is, you probably have to hold it in place, yet, yeah, and it might bunch up. So what I'm going to do for the glute exercise is tuck the heels right into my backside. Again, I tilt that pelvis. I will get some core activation here. And I'm squeezing my backside muscles, but I'm also pushing my legs out yeah, as I lift. Yeah. So that's the two exercises. So that's a superset of dead bugs and banded glute bridge. Okay. Let's go. We're going to do 16 repetitions of each. Let's get in position to start with. Knees above hips, pushing the smaller back into the floor. Three, two, one, go. One, two, now out. At the same time, you're pulling on this band to create some tension. Three, four, five. Super advanced position, head and shoulders are off the floor. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let's stretch it out. Yes, yeah, so that's our abdominal exercise completed. We go on to our glute exercise with or without the band. The we'll loop band, preferably, it goes just above the knee, yeah? So I would have it always positioned for this one just above the knees. This is going to create the most tension. The further up it goes, the less effective it is, yeah? So the heels, first rule, tuck it in. Yep, can you see that? Then I've got the space. I don't want the space. I fill the gap. I tilt my pelvis, now I've engaged those core muscles. I'm trying to actively push my feet through the floor as I lift up and separate. Let's go for 16. Yep. One. Squeeze. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Try pulse at the top. Pulse, pulse, and eleven. Pulse, pulse, twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Excellent. Whoa. So we're going to give a little stretch for the glutes by taking one leg over the top of the other. Yep. Twist round. Get a nice stretch of the glutes there. Yep. We did the lengthen out of the body for the abdominals to so stretch them out. And we've got one leg over the top, swap over to stretch out the glutes. Then we'll repeat that one more time. You can repeat it as many times as you want. So one more time. Just think about quality repetitions. Once the quality is good, you're probably doing more harm than good. Yep. Yeah? So I'm back to the straight band. Yep. Yeah? Again, I'm pushing my back into the floor. Three, two, one. Over we go. Remember the head and shoulders off the floor is a super advanced version. Okay, who's ready for the super, super advanced? That would be there. Pull it back in. There. And back in. I'm going to put my head down on the floor again. Just in case I'm creating too much tension through the neck. I'm losing count now, but I think we're halfway. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, two more, 15, 16, excellent, we stretch it out, yep, quick stretch out, and then pick yourself up, loop band if you have it, goes just above the knees, and we'll do all these with a pulse, yeah? All of these ones with a pulse at the top to really intensify this exercise. The band goes just above the knee. The heels are going to be tucked in, remember? Where's the small of the back? It's pushed onto the floor. Get a little bit of abdominal work through there too. Push the feet through the floor. Pulse, pulse, release. Two. Three. So we're moving on to B. We're going to be on our feet for B. Yeah, we're going to do a side bend. Yep. Yeah. So a warm-up side bend would look like that. A weighted side bend. You could use a dumbbell, a kettlebell, whatever you have. I'm going to use a band. Yep. Yeah. So if I make this band nice and short, I'll get some resistance, some good resistance. Yep. Yeah. So into side bends, we're targeting the sides. Yep. Yeah. 
So the second exercise is a kickback. If you don't have a band, this is where you might want to use a chair. Pulse, pulse, in. Pulse, pulse, in, targeting into glutes. Obviously, if you have the band, that would be fantastic because that is going to give you a load of work through the glutes. Squeeze, squeeze, release. Squeeze, squeeze, release. Okay, so that's our two exercises. You could be trying to be clever and keep the band on so you don't have to have it off and on all the time. Yeah, I'll, I'll try that. Um, hopefully, I don't fall over. Yeah, just being lazy now. Right, so we're going to do 16 each side. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three. Each time, try and get a bit bigger in your movements. Four, five, six, seven, eight, halfway, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, last one, 16. Excellent. Remember, stand firm on that band. You don't want it to ping. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Stand nice and firm. 3, 2, 1, go. 16 to this side. 2. Three, a lovely stretch through the waist. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and halfway. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16. Well done. I'll give you time to change bands, yeah? So the loop band goes on. If you haven't already got it on, you can have a chair, yeah? Here, just for stability, yeah? Obviously, if you're without the chair, you're going to use more core muscles. So I've separated out the exercises to abs and core. You definitely use your core muscles with all of these glute muscles too, so double trouble. Okay, 16, 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, same on the other side, swap it round. Okay, it's good to have that chair actually. I'm not sure if I'd manage without it. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Excellent. So we're back to the beginning again. Yeah, so you might want to take the band off if you're not sure about having that band on. So we're standing on the band, or this could be a dumbbell or a weight. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, just four left. Last two. Okay, swap it over to the other side. Finish this up. Stand firm on that band. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight and halfway. Try not to speed it up. Think about time under tension. Four left. Two more. Last time. 
Okay, I'll give you time to take off your band. Yeah. You embrace the core muscles. All that means is that I tighten them up as if somebody's going to punch me in the stomach. Yeah. Same with the glutes. Squeeze them, squeeze them. This time we're going to pulse it when we go back. Tiny bend in each leg in the knee. Yeah. Three, two, one. Get the shoulders back. One, two, three, four, five. right before we start shoulders back and down. Slight bend in knee, hold up the chair if you need to, pulse it again. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16. Well done. You might want to have a seat to take the band off. Yep. And grab yourself a drink. And we'll move on to C. Yep. So for C, I'm going to tie my mat around. Because I'm going to show you the plank. Yep. Turn around so you can see me there. So we're going to go for a tapping plank, yeah? So we talk about the, the plank position, so you think of your body, the whole body is a plank. So although we're trying to target our abdominals, the whole body has to be strong to execute this, yeah? So what you don't want to do is have a sag in the back, yeah? You want to have everything tight and strong, yeah? So I'm tightening up all my arm muscles, my leg muscles, my core muscles. This is a fantastic exercise, especially for people with back problems, because what you really want to do is use all those supporting muscles around your core to support your back. But what you don't want is your back to sag yet. So you come up on your forearms, yep. You stay on your knees and just tighten everything up, yep. If you can manage, you come up on the toes. But remember, you're thinking that the body's a plank, so there's no sagging of the back, yeah? So you either hold that plank position or you're going to thumb a lift, yeah? I was going to do the tapping plank, but you know, this, this one makes it a little bit more fun. So we try and thumb a lift, yeah? And of course, that can be done from the knees too, yeah? So that's our core exercise, yeah? We then go on to a single leg bridge. So you did the bridge, yeah, with a band. We're now going to do it without the band. Yeah. So we tuck the heels in, just like we did before. But what we do is we take one leg up, yeah. So all the weight now is going through one leg. And then we'll swap and we'll do it to the other side, okay. I think I'll maybe turn my mat around again. I'm not sure that you're going to get the best of me. So I'm going to turn you around, turn myself around there. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's get going with that plank. So show me your thumbs. You know where your thumbs are. You're going to thumb a lift. Please stay on the knees or regress to going on the knees. You'll see me doing that if you feel that there's any way compromising your back. Okay, let's go for 60 of thumb a lift. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to start up and then you'll see me regress. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four. I'm coming down to the knees. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So as you can see, I only managed about four to five on my toes. I just felt that I had too much movement through my hips, that I wasn't really feeling the benefit of the exercise. As soon as I regressed and took it down to my knees, then I really started feeling the muscles that I'm supposed to be working, yeah. 
So some people, when they do the exercises, they take the indication, because they're getting out of breath, yeah, and because they're sweating, they feel that they must be doing it correctly, yeah? But if we're here for effect, as in you've come for an ab and glute work it, and these are the muscles you want to target, then you're better off doing the regressed version, the easier version, and really feeling it where you want to be feeling it. Yep, okay, that's your lecture over. Uh, single leg bridge, yep. So the bridge, we did it with a band, now we're doing it bandless. I push my smaller back in the floor. I tuck both heels in, but for a single leg, I've got one leg up and the other leg all the way through, through this side. So we do eight on each side. Three, two, one, go for one. Two, three, four, push that foot through the ground. Five, six, seven, eight. Other side, push, push, one. Push the foot through the ground, through the floor. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So as you push your foot through the floor, that creates the tension which goes into the glute muscles. So we're back to this plank. Yeah, I'll face the other way now. So we're thumb and a lift. Yep. Yeah. This time we're going to do it up on the hands. Yep. Yeah. So it's there and there. Or if you can, up on toes. But remember the back. If it's sagging like this, please come down to the knees. Yep. Yeah. I need to stretch my back now. I've just about hurt it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Go. One. Two, minimal movement through the hips. Three, four, five, six. I'm down. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Last one, sixteen, and rest. Excellent. So we're now on the single leg for the last time to do a glute bridge. What's the rules? Heels, close to the buttocks. Push through, feel it through the abs. One leg comes up, eight each side. Push that foot down as you lift up. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, switch that over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done. Yep. So, we did two rounds of the double lift plank and two rounds of the single leg bridge. We've only got D left to do, which is a seated twist. You could use a weight for this, or like me, I'm going to use the band, yeah, I'm creating tension through the band, I'm going to lean back and I'm going to do a pulse to each side, yep, and for the second exercise I'm going to do a clam shell, yep, so we're onto the side, we lift up, lift up, ideally if you have the band, the band goes just above the knee, yep, flatten it out, up on your side, you lift up and lower down here. Yeah? Okay, and obviously we'll do both sides. So our first one, the seated twist, I'm just going to leave the band in because I'm lazy. <laughs> yep, yeah, so I'm going to leave the band in. I'll face the front for you to start with. So I'm leaning ever so slightly back. That already creates tension through my abdominals, but if you feel it too much in your back, your lower back, just sit up tall for me, yeah? So I've got my band in front, I'm creating tension through the band, and then I'm going to pulse it to each side. I'm going to lean back, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Well done. So my band's already on. 
Uh, if you don't have a loop band, you're maybe trying to tie a weed band round. But don't worry too much, especially if you haven't done these before, it'll be enough to do it without any resistance. So we've got eight each side. So we're onto the side, we keep the whole body in alignment. And we're going to lift up and lower down slowly. Three, two, one, one, two, three, so slow, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight, swivel it round, same on the other side, get the body in alignment, get nicely set up so you're comfortable or as comfortable as you can be, and we'll do the other side, three, two, one, go, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done. We're back to the seated twist. I'm going to show you a side on this time. Yep. So you sit up nice and tall, but if you can, lean ever so slightly back and you'll feel it through the stomach already. Up onto the heels. Pull on that band, create tension. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Excellent. All right, last part, last part. Okay, so on the side, get as comfortable as you can in this position. We're going to pulse at the top and we have eight to do each side. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight. Excellent. Swivel it round. Last time. Keep it slow. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one, eight. Well done. So after our first set of exercises, we did a quick stretch, but we just bashed on after that. So let's do some stretching out now, yeah? So shake out the legs, yeah? One leg over the top of the other, twist round, hold that there for five, four, three, two, one. Same on the other side, over it goes, twist round, and five, four, three, Two, one. We're going to lie down, lengthen out the body. Hands over, arms over head. Yep. And then I want you to grab around the shins and just roll in the base of the spine. Yep. Lengthen out again, lengthen out the whole body. This time just take one knee up, hug it in towards you as close as you can. Last five. Four, three, two, one, release. We'll do the same on our side. Five, four, three, two, one. And stretch out the abdominals for the last time. Hands into the floor, lift the head up. Feel that lovely stretch through the abdominals for five, four, three, Two, one, you're going to shift the weight back, stretch it out for me, feed one arm through, press down, stretch out the shoulder, last five, four, three, two, one, we'll swap that over, push down, five, four, three, two, one, if you can stand up nice and slowly for me, put all toes under there, yeah. Then come all the way back. Roll the shoulders at the top. Yeah. Step 
one foot behind the other, reach up and over, feel that stretch down the sides, and on the other side, stretch to the sides, excellent, push all the way up, one big circle to finish off, yay, I'll give you all that clap. So that is a combination, a quick combination of abs and glute put together, yeah, but remember, get the whole body ready first, because then the muscles will be activated, they'll be ready to go and you'll get much more of that workout if you're properly prepared. Okay, till the next time guys. See ya!